the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is on a building spree to transform the country into a sought-after destination for tourists in the Middle East, just like Dubai. So, what better way to jumpstart this journey to becoming a top tourist destination than by building an upscale and luxurious airport that will cater to millions of people visiting the country every year? Well, that is exactly what Saudi Arabia is doing. So keep watching until the end of the video because we will be talking about Saudi Arabia's new Red Sea International Airport. an airport redefining the scale and the experience of air travel. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and other neighboring countries are mostly known to be oil countries, which means that a significant chunk of their economy relies on the oil or fuel that they produce and then export to other countries. But as the rest of the world slowly moves towards using more sustainable energy sources, it's no wonder that these rich oil countries are also making sure that they not only keep up with sustainable architecture, but also ensure that their economies aren't entirely dependent on their oil supply. This is where the Red Sea project comes in. This groundbreaking and expensive Giga project includes the Red Sea International Airport, 16 luxury hotels, and more future projects to be announced to boost the kingdom's tourism. Encouraging tourists to visit and marvel at what the country offers culturally and geographically, aside from its reputation as a desert and oil country. Now, what exactly is special about this new airport? Well, one of the ways that this airport is marketed is that it will offer a more laid-back experience for its passengers. This is a stark contrast to how we would usually describe what an airport experience is like, fast-paced and quite stressful. This airport boasts more intimate and relaxed spaces where the passengers can stay and fully absorb the beauty of the structure and services offered by the Red Sea Resort, another high-end establishment within the Red Sea Project. Achieving sustainability is at the heart of the Red Sea Project, so this airport is also expected to be powered entirely by sustainable energy. Unlike many airports, the Red Sea International Airport is designed around the idea of giving the most comfort and convenience that they can offer to their passengers. Aside from this, due to the proximity of the airport's location to the coastal lagoons, the Red Sea International Airport can also serve as a seaplane base for amphibious planes. After starting the construction back in 2021, the developers conducted the airport's first flight tests only a year later, on July 21, 2022, and the airport opened its operations to domestic flights from Riyadh to Tabuk last September 21, and has extended its operations to flights from Jeddah as well. And the long-awaited opening of this airport to international flights will start in 2024. By 2030, once all of the facilities under the Red Sea project have finished construction, this airport is expected to cater to around 1 million passengers or tourists from all over the world. This will also limit the number of passengers this airport can handle due to the nature of the sustainable design and environmental carrying capacity of the airport. Another thing to marvel about this luxury airport is its unique design. If Singapore has the famous Changi Airport, an airport known for its incorporation of beautiful architecture, nature, and accessibility to high-end shops, and a hotel within the airport itself, the Red Sea International Airport's selling point will surely charm a lot of visitors into traveling to Saudi Arabia just to check out the airport itself, is its unique design that takes inspiration from the geography of the region. The airport boasts a large exterior that vaguely resembles dune-like structures, surrounded by various plants to stay true to the airport's goal towards sustainability, and also to provide a lush scenery for its future passengers. And just like Changi Airport, the Red Sea International Airport will also host several food hubs, activities, and hotels for accommodation. Indulge in world-class dining experiences that showcase the finest of the local cuisine, relaxing wellness retreats, and several activities that will educate you more about the rich cultural history of the region, all within the airport itself. This airport and other facilities within the Red Sea project are handled by the renowned architectural firm Foster Plus Partners, an architectural firm that mostly dabbles in luxury projects. This firm ensures that each resort and facility is not just a standalone structure, but an integral part of the entirety of the surrounding landscape. With Foster, 
plus partners' expertise when it comes to luxurious projects together with the Red Sea Project's partnership with Mott McDonald, a consulting known for its visions of sustainability, Saudi Arabia is surely to create a state-of-the-art airport that will not jeopardize the environment in the process. Not only is the Red Sea International Airport a wonder to look at and a way to offer a new air travel experience to tourists, but as part of the Red Sea Project, this airport will also bring a significant positive impact on the future economy and working sector of Saudi Arabia. With the number of mega projects being constructed within the country, it is expected that this project alone will generate tens of thousands of job opportunities for locals and migrant workers, especially those who are working within the construction and hospitality industry. Given that the primary goal of the Red Sea project is to boost tourism, the profit from the expected influx of tourists and the jobs that will be generated within the tourism industry will surely drive the growth of the economy of the country even without too much help from the country's oil industry as the world moves on to sustainable energy. The economic impact of this airport also extends to the rest of the world as it will open more doors for more efficient logistics, trade, and easier access or global connections to countries within the Middle Eastern region, as well as some parts of Africa. The entirety of the Red Sea project also aims to achieve carbon neutrality, so aside from the possible economic impacts, this project will also possibly bring upon a positive environmental impact by setting an example when it comes to sustainability for other countries to follow in the future. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia may be taking a giant risk with the construction of all of these ambitious mega-projects and veering away from their economy's oil dependence. But if their projects prove to be successful in the next few years, all of that risk will be worth it and will set a precedent as to what the rest of the world can achieve when it comes to sustainability. With how rapidly our technology evolves and how our needs constantly change, someone has to take that leap of faith and be ambitious to see what would work best for our society, environmentally and economically. It is clear that the project is not just about creating an extraordinary vacation destination. It's also about fostering economic growth, providing employment opportunities for local communities, and uplifting the region while maintaining a balance with nature. While the Red Sea International Airport will welcome international flights in 2024, there are still a few years left for Saudi Arabia's Red Sea project vision to be fully realized. Hence, there's still much to look forward to and much more that the country can improve on. And the rest of the world will be watching and anticipating the fruition of Saudi Arabia's vision. Would you want to visit Saudi Arabia after seeing their new luxury airport? What aspect of the new Red Sea International Airport are you looking forward to the most? Is it its sustainability, its convenience, or its unique design? After hearing about this project, did you become more interested in visiting Saudi Arabia and what it offers? I would love to hear your thoughts and what you learned from this video, so let me know what you think and join the comment section below.